Hey guys and um, welcome back to another video. So today I thought I would film a current favourites video. So I'm not going to do this in any particular order because I don't really want this to be very um, like planned or anything. I just want to do it in random order so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to start off by talking about something that I've really been enjoying using on my hair and it's this Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Colour Deep Treatment um, for coloured hair in need of love and just says to revitalise and replenish so basically I got this a couple of weeks ago um, I think my mum just picked it up when she was at a store one day and I just kind of used it when I was in the shower because I was like my hair is colour treated so I might as well try it and just see what it does like, I wasn't expecting huge things from it but at the same time I have used Aussie products before and I really really like them they always do great things for my hair and I never use them and think there was no point in using that like there's no difference because there always is with their products so I kind of knew that it would be good um, but I wasn't sure because I never tried this particular one until now and I just really really like it because it's got a really nice smell to it, um, for starters. It smells of peaches, so I'm not going to complain about that. I love the smell of peaches, and it stays on your hair as well. Like, the smell doesn't just go away straight away. It kind of stays there for a little while, which I like. And to be honest, I haven't used this for, like, three minutes. I haven't left it on for that long before. Maybe, like, two minutes at maximum. Um, I've left this on my hair, and I literally just apply it to the ends because, obviously, my hair is so long. Um, I don't apply it to my whole hair because I just don't I don't really condition the top of my hair anyway a lot because I just find it too um oily if I do that so yeah so just apply this to the ends and it made them feel really really moisturized and also bring the color out a lot as well which I really like about this product because I like any products that sort of bring my blonde out a bit more and just make it more shiny and just look really healthy and that's what this product did so yeah, I can smell it from here and it just smells amazing. It's so nice. Honestly, if you um, need something that you want to just sort of make your hair feel more moisturised, if your coloured hair is feeling a bit dull or dry, give this one a go and it might just work for you like it did for me because I'm really enjoying it. So the next thing that I want to talk about that I have been enjoying using is this little angle brush. Um, now this is actually my mum's and I sort of said to her can I borrow it so I just tried it one day because I wanted a brush for my eyebrows that was smaller than my other ones because let me see if I can find one okay so this is my normal eyebrow brush that I was using beforehand so if you look at that one and then take a look at this one this one is a lot smaller and I just wanted to try it because I feel like sometimes with my eyebrows they go a bit too big like they just up ending ending up looking a lot bigger than what they actually are because the brush I use is a bit big so I thought I'll just give this one a go and I really liked it I think this just came in with a makeup revolution dip brow pomade um and it has got two ends as well it's got this other little one which is I'm not really sure I think it's just to like highlight the brow and tidy up um but it's this end that I've been enjoying using so much. I just find it so much more precise. Um, and it's very hard and dense as well. So that makes it a lot easier as well. And I don't know. I just find it really makes my brows look a lot more shaped and precise as I said really. And yeah I just really like this brush. Okay so the next thing is these two mascaras as a combination. So... Basically, I got these obviously separately at different times and used them separately um, for a long time. But then I thought, I'll just try them together and just see what it's like. Because I know sometimes some mascara combinations are amazing and then others are just not great at all. But I thought I'd give this combination a go. And it's the Max Factor 2000 Calorie Mascara in Black. It just looks like this. The packaging is really gross on my one. So I apologise for that. But... It's just that one and then the Ramel Wonderful Mascara as well. And I just find this a really, really nice combination for my lashes because I always want something that looks really lengthening and voluminous at the same time because I want some volume in my lashes but I do want them to look lengthened as well. Like I don't just want them to look clumpy and 
if ever my mascara looks clumpy, like I never use the mascara again because I hate that look so much. But this combination just does both of those things and works really, really well together. And this one is more lengthening, I was saying. This one is what adds more um, like volume to the lashes. So I'll definitely say if you want just lengthening um, lashes, then just go for this wonderful one. And if you want more volume, then maybe have a look at the 2000 calorie one. I do love this mascara. I have done for a while, but the combination I love more than them separately. And yeah, it just does all the things that I want for my lashes, especially because I curl my lashes before I apply mascara, which I didn't do for quite a few years. And I'm not really sure why, because it's so amazing and makes the whole lot of difference in your lashes. Um, so yeah. That combination, really, really good. So the next thing I've really been enjoying for a couple of weeks now is this Sally Hansen Vitamin... Okay, no, that's... Vitamin E Now and Cuticle Oil. And this is just what it looks like. It's just in a cute little container with a little gold lid, which I really like. It makes it look so luxurious. Um, and I use this, like I said, a few weeks ago for the first time because... My nails and like the skin around them can be quite fragile and dry a lot of the time and it makes my nails weak as well and I think the main reason for that is because I haven't been using a cuticle oil. Now this one in particular, I mean I haven't really tried any other ones so I can't like suggest that this is the best one at all because I haven't tried any others really. Um, but this does really really good things for my nails and the skin around it. And I really haven't been picking the skin around my nails as much as I would when I haven't been using this. And I'm not sure why. I think it might just be because my nails have been looking a lot more healthier that I haven't wanted to ruin them. So, yeah, I just literally apply this to my nails all over and base it a lot on the cuticle as well because my cuticles can get quite large as well. So I really place it on the cuticles and then just all over the nail. I massage it in. Um, for a couple of seconds and then just do that to all of my nails and it just makes them feel a lot more hydrated and looked after and it's really quick smells quite alright as well I think if I can remember I don't know why I feel the need to smell everything that I get but that, I feel like that's a massive thing for me <laughs> okay it doesn't really have much of a smell maybe that was another product but yeah this is really good Okay, so the next thing I've been enjoying for the last couple of weeks as well, I would say, is chewing gum. Now, I've got these extra ice peppermint ones, but just chewing gum in general, I've really been enjoying. I wasn't really a chewing gum person for a long while, mainly, I think, because I have braces, and obviously, you're not supposed to be chewing gum with it. I did a few times, not supposed to, but I did a few times, and it didn't really do anything, so it, I did have it a few times, but... Not a lot, and just recently I've been really enjoying it. I find it nice to just keep my mouth feeling clean and a li little more um, refreshed. And I just, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I've just really been enjoying chewing gum. So I thought I'd tell you guys because, you know, I have been loving it after all, so I would tell you. <laughs> so another thing I've been enjoying for a few months now is my Polaroid printer. Now, I got this at Christmas, and I didn't really use it much for a couple of months because I didn't really have any pictures that I wanted to print out and I didn't really know where to put them but since I've started to create like a Polaroid picture wall on my wardrobe just here I don't know if you can see some of the pictures um I just like started a collage sort of thing with loads of pictures from holidays and just of my friends my family everything like that and pictures that I just want to put somewhere because the thing with pictures is and I know it just sort of happens you take pictures and obviously it's on your phone these days so they just end up on your phone and you don't really do anything else with them so that's why I really like this Polaroid printer because it just means you can actually have them physically and they're really nice to give to people as well um, for them to keep I feel like I love doing that and just giving them to people especially like because this is Bluetooth you can literally take this out in your bag it's so small it doesn't take up a lot of space and Say if you've been to a concert or something, you took a nice selfie or a picture that you like, you could literally print it off at that moment and then give it to your friend or whoever it is and you're sorted really. So I've really been enjoying this and it's super quick and easy and yeah. 
Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys is this Vivitar waterproof speaker. Now, this is supposed to be waterproof, but when I actually read the packaging, it's not. So, I don't really get this near water, but I've still been really enjoying it because whenever I get ready or I'm doing something that I need to sort of concentrate a little bit or I'm a little bit bored, I'll always put on music. What is that noise? I think it's spoiler. That's really creepy. But yeah, um, I always listen to music whenever I'm doing anything. It's like, I always do it. And this speaker comes in really handy for that because obviously on your phone you can only get up to a certain volume. But this goes really, really loud, which I love. I'm not sure the neighbours love it, but I love it. And it's also great for when you're in the shower and you want really loud music as well. <laughs> it's just really great to have. And again, really small. Bluetooth as well, so really handy. The next thing I have been loving using is this makeup bag. Now, I got this from Superdrug for literally 49p, and I'm so shocked over how good that price is still. And I got this a few months ago, I'm still shocked at how good that price is because this is quite a big bag, as you can see. It's just got a little bit of lining in there, a separate pocket, um, and that's it really. But it's a cute design, I think. and it's a perfect size, like let me tell you guys, I um, often like stay at people's houses and stuff so I need a decent size makeup bag and this is perfect for that, it fits all of my makeup in, that might seem really excessive but it does, it just fits all my makeup in really easily and like my skincare and everything, it all fits in here which means I don't have to take like three different bags because this just fits it all in so nicely. And it's just great for on the go as well because it's not too big. Like it might look really big here, but it's not. It's just the perfect size. So I'm really, really happy with that still. And I'm loving using it. So the last thing I want to show you guys as one of my current favourites is these Superstar, Adidas Superstars um, with like this sort of leopard print on it. And I've had these for quite a while now, but they got quite dirty, so... I didn't really wear them that much, I'm not sure why, um, but I think I just sort of started wearing my Vans a lot more and other shoes started to take their place, but I have another pair of Superstars as well, um, but these ones are so super super comfy and I don't know any other shoes that are as comfortable as these, other than my Vans, they sort of, they're close to how comfortable these are, but these are definitely winning for the comfortable, so yeah, they're just white, as I said, with a leopard print, and I just love wearing them. I find them so easy to style as well, like, you can dress them down, or you can dress them up a little bit, and either way, they're just so comfortable, and I can't quite get over how comfortable they are at all times. Like, they've never caused me any troubles with blisters, or, like, wearing them in. That's never been a problem either, and I recently washed them in the washing machine as well, so they come up super, super white. They're still a little bit dirty already, which isn't good. <laughs> I need to sort of look after my shoes more, but yeah, I've just really been loving wearing them. Okay, so that is everything that I wanted to show you guys and talk to you about. So I really hope you enjoyed just seeing what some of my current favourites are. I feel like they are different to um, what is usually in my favourite videos, and obviously this isn't a monthly favourite, but I just felt like I had some things that I wanted to show you guys, so there you go. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!